All right, so I am continuing this Pokemon VR project from last weekend. In this video, or I guess in the stream, I want to maybe come up with a list of what I want from this project and then just continue working on it. So first thing, have Pokemon spawn from Pokeball. Add more environment features, say like grass, rocks, um, let's fix ground pop-in issue. That is when like these little patches of dirt, they just kind of pop around. UI menus, enemy trainer model. The first thing I think I'm gonna do is actually let's organize this. I'll probably do, do things in this order. I'll add more environment features first because that seems pretty easy. Fix the ground pop-in issue. I think I have a different shader I can just import that will fix that and having Pokemon spawn from the Pokeball that seems like a good thing to maybe end today on and I'm thinking it might take a little while but if not then we can move on to the rest of this stuff enemy trainer model afterwards I think that looks good so first things first let's add more environment features here so I will want some rocks so let's go into blender and I will model some rocks. Pokemon VR assets. Here's the tree we made last time. Let's go ahead and for a rock. I think there's a rock generator. Yeah, there we go. Try this again. Uh, let's try to, let's deformation, dude. I don't even know. How does this look? Oh, that rock is really tiny. That looks like an okay rock. So I will just keep that. Let's name it rock. Let's get a material on it. I want it to be right at zero on the Z. So that looks okay. Maybe a little lower. Maybe like about there. Let's deal with the colors. Well, maybe I need to apply all of these. All right, I'm gonna try applying all these modifiers. See if that helps. I don't think it did. It made it look worse. Uh, maybe in the reverse order. There we go. A little confused why the uh, faces aren't showing up over here. Um, let's decimate this so it's not as heavy. Four seems good. Um, that looks okay. That looks better to me. Um, why is this not showing up? I'm gonna have to do some Googling. Blender UV is not showing. Let's see. We need UV selection sync. Mm, usually means. Oh, I gotta unwrap it. Okay. The uh, UV unwrap. There we go. Now it's all weird looking. Do this, scale down to zero, and let's move it down to maybe there. That's gonna be an okay looking rock. Okay, how big is it compared to our tree? Not very. I'll just leave that for a problem later. Let's go ahead and export this. Export it as an OBJ, I'll call it rock uh, selection only. Export that, let's add it into the game. And let's see, all right, got my rock model here is add it to the scene. It's actually a pretty decent size. I will unpack this and then we need to apply the shared material. That doesn't look too bad. And I will add a mesh collider there. It's just static because it's going to be static. And I will add it to the prefabs. Go ahead and add a few of these. There we go. And I can highlight all of these. Give them a random rotation between 0 and 360. And I probably want to do a random scale between, say, like 0.5. And one R 0.5 one do that and do the same thing for the Z and for this one actually first I'll just clean all these up so I'll just do rocks as a parent game object to hold all of these mark it static Let's go ahead and move all our rocks in there I want to unpack this one and I'll just call it small rock all right got our smaller rocks now add that in here and I want to get some and I'll highlight all of these. Let's do random between negative five and five. Copy that. How far does that go? Okay. Same thing here. Game's okay. And now I will try to see how that looks in the game. Hey, there we go. Got our rocks on the ground. Got our Pokeball. Try and catch that rock. Nope. <laughs> Boom. I could probably add more rotations to the rocks to make them more different. Uh, let's see. So smaller rocks, go into the prefab. I will remove that mesh collider. Also want to move them down a little bit. So 0.05 maybe. Give them all a random rotation between zero and 360. 
Uh, let's just do that for like everything. See how that looks. Oh, that's a little weird. What happens if I rotate that? But fine. Uh, let's take the bigger rocks, change the scale random between zero and one. You know what? The rest of it doesn't look too, too bad. Um, the smaller rocks, I'm not quite sure about yet. I think I'll actually just remove those. I don't really like them. Get rid of that. All right, that looks a little better. Um, yeah, got some neat angles out of everything, so cool. Maybe I can expand this forest a little bit, duplicating this tree a bunch of times. Maybe we can take one of our rocks, move it over here, we can try to increase the scale, make a mountain, maybe, make some mountains. Nice, we got a mountain range. Uh, let's make another empty game object. I'll call it mountains for those mountains that we created. And I want to do random rotation from zero to 360. Random scale, let's do eight to 12. Yeah, that doesn't look good. <laughs> let's see how it looks in the headset though. All right, yeah, I think I might need to use some more detailed mountains. probably fix that too. Don't want it going through the floor. These little rocks look good. Let's take a look. Get rid of those rocks. They don't look good. Go to our Pokeball. Let's say continuous. Probably what we want. Go back here. I will add a new mesh. Let's go to rock generator. Want it to be 10 times bigger. That looks like a better mountain. Detail level can be increased. Uh, Want it to be taller rock. See, how do I want to do this? That one looks okay. I'll just use that. Call it a mountain. And let's add our material. Go to UV editing. Um, I'm going to apply all of this. It's pretty dense. So let's try to decimate it. So it's two decimations. All right, I think this looks okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and unwrap that. All right, let's try doing that. And these can be a little bit darker. That looks okay. Let's go ahead and export this. OBJ selection only. I'll name it mountain. Add the mountain here, add it in here. Go ahead and unpack that. Add our shared material. Make it 10 by 10 by 10. Rotate this. Now, does that look right? Uh, not quite. <laughs> I mean, I think it looks fine, but let's add this one. Rotate it, there we go. I just can't help but think it looks a little uh, like something <laughs> very particular, but maybe that's fine. Uh, all of them are going to be static. All of them should have a collider on them. Let's go see how it looks in the game. You know what? In the game, they're not that bad. All right, let's do this again. See if it falls through the floor. Oh, it's good. More for good luck. So far, yeah, from down here it looks fine. The texturing is a little weird, but I'm kind of into it. Maybe this could be like the path we took in. A dirt ground. Let's make our path here. Gotta draw our path. This part doesn't matter so much because we're not gonna see it. This probably is gonna run horribly on the headset by itself, but that's it's a different problem. So cleanup comes later. <laughs> All right, so let's, oh God. I let all of our dirt, give it a random rotation between zero and 360. Maybe I need to change the texture to like a circle instead of a square. That might be where I'm going wrong. Go, let's expand this a little bit. All right, make it look pretty. All right, let's save all of that. Go back to our dirt, do the rotation again. That looks okay. Save that. Now I can fill in the area with more trees. Move trees that are in weird places. That looks pretty good. Maybe the trees can also be over here. There we go. Let's take another look at how this looks in the game. All right, mountain's looking good. Got our little mountain pack here for our Pokeball. Oh, where can I throw this thing? I think I'm gonna put up a little block. Pause this, move some of that around. All right, now I will block off that path before I forget. Block path. Um, let's use a box collider. And it can be, gotta be kind of tall. So let's do 10 by five. That'll work. Leave it right here. Maybe I'll make it a little wider. Might as well be a little taller too. Static. It's not gonna move. All right, and I did wanna add grass. 
So let's see, what's the easiest way to add grass? Add those. Um, I'm gonna, instead of doing like the, the planes that like rotate to face the player, I'm gonna do like a cube sort of deal. I'm gonna test this out, see if it looks okay. Let's see. And then top here, I just want them all to come to a point. There we go. Try to save that, add a shared material. Go to UV editing, put all our faces, scale them down to zero. Let's go ahead and move those to a green color. That, I think that looks okay. Go ahead and export this as grass. Go back here, go to models, get our grass in. That is definitely a little bit bigger than I want. So let's unpack the prefab, scale this down 0.1, 0.1, 0.1. There it is. All right, let's add our shared material. All right, it looks okay. Gonna be hard to spread around though. Well, first for prefabs, I'll add grass there. Game object, grass patch. Let's move it to zero, zero, right? So grass patch, let's do quite a few. Let's say there's like 25 of them. Random between negative one and one. Random between negative one and one. Might be a little too big of a patch, too sparse. Uh, let's do negative 0.25 comma 0.25. Paste that there too. All right, there we go. Grass looks okay. For now I'm just gonna mark them all as static and I'll add this as prefab grass patch. So let's add a bunch of those around. Add a bunch of grass patches. That looks okay. Um, all of the grass I should put into another game object. Let's call it grass objects all that in let's do a random rotation between 0 and 360 and I will mark this as static and let's just see how it looks in the game all right you know what that actually looks pretty good I like it we got our pokeball over here growing still works mountains look good sky looks good all right I think I'm ready to move on to the next thing uh what is next on our checklist we did all of that at least as much as we want to do for now Fix ground pop in issue. So that is this ground. It is currently just popping in wherever it likes. So I'm gonna fix that with a triplanar shader. Let's try to do that. Let's make a new folder and I will call it shader. Shaders go in here. And I think I already have a triplanar shader. So I'm gonna look for that real quick. Lit triplanar shader. I want these to go to my shaders folder for now, just so it's easier. I do this and this, and want that and that. Hmm, I don't think this is, um, you know what, maybe this isn't the best one. Let's go back. Let's try doing this, <laughs> this, um, this might work. What am I missing, Shaders? This doesn't look right. <laughs> am I doing this? Transparent, alpha clipping. Okay, so I need my other texture for this, so I'll add that. Let's go to my materials, no shaders, and let's add that, that. Oh, alpha cutout is still gonna be this. Scooch that one over. All right, now I think, I think we got it. It's not popping in as much, really at all. There we go, looks pretty good. I think that solves our popping issue. Let's move those back over to materials. And I can get rid of that. And what is this thing? That is a rock, really thin one. Move that over to the side. All right, so far so good. Got number two fixed. Let's see what the next thing is. Uh, have a Pokemon spawn from the Pokeball. All right, so let's add a Pokeball controller here and let's delete everything we have. So add a bool for was thrown. The default, let's have that be false. Let's see on up. If was thrown and let's get our rigid body here. So rigid body, let's call it RB and in awake we'll do get component RB dot velocity dot Y is less than say some negative 0.1 F. Um, we'll need to spawn a Pokemon. So maybe I need a public function for throwing. So let's do public void row then was thrown will be true and i'll say debug actually let's just destroy uh the game object if that happens just for testing just for now right i all did that um let's see select 
exited. Let's, so on select exited, let's do our throne throw function. And let's just see how that works. See if it works at all. Got our Pokeball, go. All right, I think it disappeared. So that's good. <laughs> Try that again, see if I can get a better throw out of it. Maybe I need to do an invoke instead of just immediately delete. That looks like it did it. So let's do a function called spawn Pokemon. And we'll do invoke name of spawn Pokemon. And we'll do it like, I don't know, half a second later. And let's go back here and see how that looks in the game. All right, go Pikachu. And then after that disappears, it'll, uh, the Pokemon will come up. All right, let's work on what our Pokemon are gonna look like. So let's make a new folder first. I'll just call this Pokemon. And we'll need some artwork for the Pokemon. So you know what, just for the purpose of proceeding, I'll just make my own for right now. It's not gonna look good, but it will let us continue. So I'll go into GIMP here and let's make a new, uh, let's say 512 by 512. Get rid of that, add this front and i'll just try to draw a pikachu i suppose let's do this go now let's add a face for him all right and we can add his body Pikachu's a little chunky that um, and i think i'll go ahead and <clears throat> just start adding the features now so let's bring go pikachu should have bigger eyes than that otherwise it's just creepy maybe big eyes are creepy too though Oh God, this is gonna turn into a Pokemon horror game. So you're welcome. Here we go, give him his red cheeks. Let's do alpha two selection. Ear, tips of his ears are black, I believe. I'm doing all this from memory. I'm not looking anything up. Um, little mouth, that looks fine. <laughs> uh, let's duplicate the layer and call it back. There we go. And he has some marks on his back, so Let's try that and save this. So let's just drag those in here. Uh, alpha is going to be transparency and I will create my Pokemon. I'll call it Pikachu. Zero it out. Let's add applied. Let's call this front. Add another one called back and it will be rotated 180 degrees. And I want another one called visual. Put those in there. Move the visual up. Move it over here. And I need a new material for the front and back of Pikachu. Let's just do Pikachu front and I'll duplicate that. Call it Pikachu back. Front is going to use front of Pikachu. Alpha clipping turned on. So which one's the front? Whichever one's the front, there you go. Awesome. Uh, let's just delete that and then I'll duplicate this one. Let's just say back. And let's assign the back of Pikachu there. There we go. Now we're cooking. All right. So I'm gonna want to save this in my prefabs and I'm just gonna name him Pikachu test Pokemon just as a placeholder until we actually put like normal Pokemon in or what Pokemon will be. All right, so now with my Pokeball, I will need to add public game object Pokemon to spawn and let's say spawn Pokemon before you destroy this object. Uh, let's do a game object called Pokemon equals instantiate Pokemon to spawn Pokemon dot transform dot position equals a new vector three and let's do the transform dot position dot x here the zero height and transform dot position dot z of this Pokeball. And I think that will do it. Um, so I just need to assign my Pokemon. Name this Pokemon Art so I don't get confused. Pokemon, Pokeball. Add my Pikachu there. All right, let's see how this looks in the game. All right, got my Pokeball. Go, Pikachu. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> got my little guy here. Came from both sides. Not doing much, but he's there. <laughs> All right, um, I want to run that back one more time. Try this again. Back up. Go Pikachu. Maybe wait like half another half a second before throwing them out. I'll add that like half a second. So let's say like a full second later it'll spawn. Let's go ahead and 
try this again, see if that half second makes a big difference. Back up, grab my Pokeball, go Pikachu. It does make a big difference. <laughs> Maybe like a 0.75. And I can just spawn a bunch of these, actually. So let's just uh, let's have some fun with it. Let's do this. Spawn a whole lot of them. Oh shit, they're all rolling away. Go Pikachu. Oh shit, Pikachu's right there. Go. Ow. <laughs> my headset. I'm scared of hitting my mic. I might have hit my mic. Whoops. Go Pikachu. And go Pikachu. And how about go Pikachu? Uh, far away. Go Pikachu. Turn off the go Pikachu. Nice. Let's see. I have Pokemon spawn from a Pokeball. I'd say we got that pretty much down. Uh, I might pick this up again next week or next weekend and stream a little bit more. Might stream a little bit during the week, depending on how I feel and how busy I am. Uh, but I think we made some pretty good progress today, so I'm happy with it. I am going to save our to-do list, and I'm sure there will be more stuff on here for next time. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your night.